Uh, I want to turn now to Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Federal prosecutors are planning to charge the sheriff with criminal contempt of court for defying a judge's orders to end his immigration patrols in Maricopa, Arizona. And here to respond to all of that, uh, the criminal proceeding uh, announced uh, just less than a month before the election, America's toughest sheriff, Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio. He is seeking a seventh term in office, and it is good to see you, my friend. Yeah, it was the uh, uh, on the night, uh, the day before the early voting, so you can see the uh, political ramifications. When you go back to after Obama and Holder took office, 100 days, they started going after me uh, yeah. then, and it's still going on. And so you know there's something wrong in Washington. It's straight up persecution I, I, by and, and politicization. Uh, of the Justice Department, they're using it like a, a, a I don't know what it is, a, a political arm of their uh, White House political office. This is, this is egregious, it's disgusting, it's appalling. What's the reaction there in, uh, amongst uh, all of the folks you protect and serve every day? Well, I think I got a lot of support. It's going to backfire on who's behind all this. It's sort of complicated. Uh, but let me say this. You know, I was a top federal law enforcement official for uh, over 20 years around the world, fighting 20, 55 years fighting the uh, drug traffic and so on. And here's what I get for it. I got the federal justice department going after me. Why me? I mean, I'm just a sheriff, but I think I know the answer, you know the answer, and many people know the answer. So I'm going to fight this. It's all garbage, and I'm not going to surrender. And with the help of the people of Maricopa County, I expect to uh, win the election. Well, uh, that election coming up soon. Uh, the, the idea that uh, Donald Trump is the law and order uh, candidate in this election, he's being attacked for many of the same reasons you are, because you represent law and order, respect for, uh, for the integrity of our uh, our, our national borders, uh, the the safety of the American people. You have priorities that are antithetical to those who want the borders to be open, specifically Hillary Clinton, for crying out loud, or, or President Obama, championing sanctuary cities, uh, open borders, uh, and dismissing the idea of anything other than amnesty is the way to go, uh, so-called comprehensive immigration reform. Yeah, it's it, the, the choice couldn't be clearer, could it? Yeah, they give her a pass, and they go after me. <laughs> Think of that. <laughs> what did I do? I'm just trying to enforce the laws, and I get into uh, this quandary, uh, all these problems for trying to do my job. But I'm not going to surrender. Donald Trump uh, was right uh, when he talked about the border, the illegal immigration, the. Uh, uh, how we're uh, losing a war on drugs and uh, illegal immigration. He started this from day one. Look what they're doing to him. It's sad. It is. It is. And, and your point, I, I sit here and I laugh because of the absurdity of it all. Uh, with the, I, I was thinking of the top law enforcement officer, uh, other than the attorney general himself, uh, herself, uh, to look at James Comey. He's disgraced himself. He's disgraced a great institution, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, uh, all of the agents in that uh, uh, investigation, FBI agents, to, almost to a person, uh, saying that she should have been charged, and all of them unanimously saying clearly that her security clearance, at the very least, should have been lifted. What do you make of it? Well, you know, I've uh, worked with the FBI, and I was a top official with the U.S. Drug Enforcement, and I know the politics uh, in Washington. Uh, uh, in, you know, I'm not going to uh, criticize him. I don't know all the facts, uh, that what's going on, but I understand uh, pressures uh, he could be under, too. But, uh, you know, that's a decision mm -hmm. he has to make. I make my decisions. I'm the elected sheriff. Right. I don't report to anybody yeah. but the people of Maricopa County. And so I always, do have a little advantage. You have a, and, and it's, uh, it's, it's modest of you to acknowledge that uh, because uh, in, in relation to James Comey. Uh, the fact is you uh, also stand up uh, like a man, and uh, James Comey hasn't done that, Sheriff. I can say that straight out. Thank you, Sheriff. We appreciate it. Always Thank good you. to see you. Joe Arpaio.